So creating your video for YouTube can be fun and a lot of work, but it's really only half the work. So in this video, what I wanna do is share seven things that you really need to do after you upload your video to make sure you maximize the reach and the potential to get views and more people see your lovely work. Hey there, Kevin Colby here, and this channel is all about helping anyone over 40 make an impact with video, especially on YouTube which is ironic because we're talking about YouTube. We're talking about the things you need to do after you upload your video to make sure you can maximize its potential to be seen by more people on YouTube. So we're gonna jump into my YouTube studio. It's a video I've uploaded. It actually will be for my membership group, which you can join and there's a link down below if you wanna check it out. But I'm gonna go through that as the example of all these things you need to do. So we're gonna first start with the title. Now, if you notice, it says right here, title required. So if I just even and delete that. You notice right there, it will not let me upload this without a title. So I'm just going to give it a title here. I'm going to call it uh, YouTube Rumors and Trends. And I'm going to call it 2024. Again, I'm totally making up the title, but you can put a lot of thought into your title, what you want it to be. There could be some keywords in there or not. It really just depends on what you're, you're going for. So while we're talking about titles, here's, here's some tips. You want to be accurate in your title. Uh, people get caught up all the time on clickbait. Clickbait is okay as long as you're delivering. I mean, you want people to click on your video and watch it. So you want to make sure you're delivering. How you title it, you can have some keywords in, in there if you want to. Try not to what's called keyword stuffing. It really depends on your video, what it's about, and the audience you want to reach. But think about your title. A lot of times I'll come up with a bunch of different titles and then I'll say, this is the one I think I want for this. And by the way, you can change your title at any time. So there's a key here that is very important. See the save button right here? Whatever changes I make here, if I don't hit save, the changes aren't set. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save after every one of these. And if you notice, it says changes saved and kind of this line will change up in here too. And so it's once it's grayed out, you know that the title, in this case, the title took. Okay, now let's talk about your description. So right here, you're looking at a template. Now, this is this is all stuff that I've put in here and there is a way you can have all of this in here where you don't have to type it every time. I'll cover that in a different video if you want. But right now, this is a description that you want to fill in. Again, you don't have to have this much. You can have more than this. I will tell you this right now. Every one of these links is clickable. And there is a video I did on that. I'll put that down in the description. It They don't look like they're clickable here, but trust me, they are. And if you ever need to check it, you can just go to the video and you'll see it. So what, what you need to do is think about